everyone, Adam here. It's time for a quick movie review, and today's review is of Snake Eyes, G.I. Joe Origin. And this stars Heavenly Golding, Andrew Koji, Haruka Abe, Samara Weaving, and directed by Robert Schwentiki. And the plot centers around, obviously, Snake Eyes. His origins, like how he got the name of Snake Eyes, his training, what happened to him when he was a kid, and the training he uh, acquired when he was taken in by a clan. So essentially, as the title suggests, it's his origin story. It also introduces a couple of G.I. Joe characters, uh, mainly Scarlet and the Baroness. Of course, we learn a little bit about Cobra. Yeah, so it starts off with Snake Eyes. We never actually get his real name, which is fine. Um, so, Tell the story how Snake Eyes went from being orphan to living on the streets and then, like I said before, uh, coming into a clan. Of course, in this, uh, not everything's safe at the clan with the bad guys uh, wanting to retrieve a certain object. Trying not to give too many spoilers. I know eventually Snake Eyes does, doesn't speak later on in this one. He's sort of chatty. And I will say, there were some okay action scenes, um, some okay sword fights, and okay car chase. And I suppose, from what I'm saying, I will say this is just okay. I mean, it does have a very different tone from the other two G.I. Joe movies, which were kind of a bit over the top, a uh, little cartoony. And this one starts off sort of realistic, but as it goes on, it, it tends to veer more towards cartoonish as well. Uh, not as much as the previous G.I. Joe films, but, I mean, it is based on a cartoon, so you can kind of expect that. Look, I didn't hate it, didn't love it. It's watchable. Like I said, to me, it was just okay. Maybe if you're, if you're a big fan of G.I. Joe, then you might get something out of it a bit more than I did. I did like Henry Golding as Snake Eyes, and a pretty solid performance. It is pretty much setting up the G.I. Joe universe. I guess it depends on how well this one does at the box office if we'll get some more. I mean, there is potential there, but I just found it, I mean, just kind of average, despite some decent action scenes. So I'm going to score this 5 out of 10. Some fun moments, but uh, nothing great. And because the G.I. Joe show always ended with a message, my message to you is, don't eat toilet paper. Now we know. And knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe! As always, just my opinion, feel free to disagree. Have you seen this? Uh, let us know in the comments below what you thought. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm Adam, and I'll see you again soon.